In Panel 2013, any edits we make after a toolpath has been calculated are recorded and stored with the toolpath. The only exception to this is manual reordering of the toolpath and editing the leads and links. As well as recording each individual editing operation, the user can add additional notes against each operation describing the actual editing operation itself. For 2013, these edits are stored as read-only, but in future versions the plan is to make those edits replayable if we recalculate the original toolpath. This ability to store the editing history with the toolpath is a great benefit to uh, the Parmel users. It gives a level of traceability with the project and allows a different user to come along and pick up where the original user left off and have a good understanding of what has taken place and what edits have occurred on a toolpath. Let's have a look how this editing uh, history works. So here we have a simple constant Z toolpath uh, over this part and I want to go in and remove uh, some of the toolpath segments. First of all I want to remove the, the toolpath that goes down inside these holes. These guide pin holes would typically be pre-drilled in the plates so uh, I have no need to actually machine those holes myself. So to do remove those I'm going to simply use the advanced editing function in Parmel where I can simply highlight the segments and remove those without having to recalculate the toolpath. As well as that uh, I want to remove the uh, toolpath that machines these heel blocks uh, in the x-axis. This time I shall use uh, a limiting to a plane function limit the other side and apply and then move the plane to this side and reverse the direction and apply. So that's removed the, the toolpath segments for these heel blocks and finally we have a slide pocket here which possibly could be wire eroded or spark eroded or some other form uh, of manufacture. So I want to remove the toolpath segments from inside that pocket and to do this I'm going to use a boundary and I have the boundary predefined for that pocket so I want to keep outside that boundary and apply. So there we can see that has been removed. So I've made a series of edits to this part uh, and to view those edits, uh, I simply right click on the toolpath and go edit toolpath editing history. And here we can see the original toolpath and then the first operation I used was a selection of the holes for the guide pin holes. Uh, and the second operation was a limit by plane in the x-axis an X value displayed and another X limit and finally a limit to the boundary. So I can go in now and add some notes to this. So for the first operation which is where I selected the holes I can put a simple note that says deleted toolpath segments that machine the guide pin holes. And I can do the same if I want for the other operations. When I save my project, these edits are obviously stored with the toolpath, so I can come back at a later date and easily see uh, what edits have occurred.